How's it going everyone? Today we're playing this Grixis Frog deck in Timeless, and it's basically just blue-black frog with a splash of red for Dragon's Rage Chandler. There's plenty of spells in the deck to trigger this card, and as much cards as we can get in the graveyard, the better, since we are playing Psychic Frog, which other ability is to exile three cards from the graveyard to give it flying. Also, we have four Nether Goyfs, so this gets bigger with each card type in the graveyard. And then putting more cards in the graveyard will obviously help us cast Treasure Cruise more easily too. Running a couple of Toxic Deluge because energy is a thing. We're going to be playing best of one. I do have a sideboard here though if you want to run best of three and you could even add some red cards um, as you see fit since you're going to be playing red. The only thing I wanted to change after playing a few games was maybe taking out one of the steam vents and adding a blood crypt. I feel like there was a situation where I wanted a black red land instead of a blue black or blue red. So I think that's like one of the changes I would make with this deck but this deck performs pretty well. Blue black frog was already strong and I think the Chandler in the deck has been pretty good for me so far. Gonna go first. Um, I guess this hand's fine. I feel like I have some protection with the surgical if they're playing Rakdos. Um, I mean, I probably want another land. I can keep this. Okay, maybe just show and tell. We're gonna definitely have some dead cards against show and tell. Ideally though, we like mana drain the, the show and tell and then surgical extract it. They could just be playing frog too, but if they were, I would assume they would have Luris in their deck. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, well, at least we can get rid of this delusion uh, fatal push. And we'll go get another surveil here. Do I want a frog? I mean, I do and I don't. Like, I need to put pressure on them. But I think I'm still in the market for... Another counter spell. Which Drown the Lonk is good. It's not too good right now. Okay. Well, maybe this will work out the way we're we're hoping it will. Um, what's in my graveyard? I already have a creature. Creature land instant. I think we can just put that in the graveyard since it has escape. And then let's go ahead and surgical here. Uh, I... Do I care about Inquisition if I'm taking show and tell? Maybe not. Okay, well I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> GG's. One lander, but we do have a Brainstorm. They're playing Loris. This is probably a Mulligan. Yeah, it's Mulligan. I mean, they could be playing Energy, Loris Energy. Um, I think I'm going to put back Surgical. If they're playing energy, then Toxic Deluge should be pretty good. Alright, and there's the Foundry, so it looks like it. Um, yeah, let's just Sewers here. I'll let them have this Treasure Cruise from the Ragavan. I just wanted to make sure they're not going to get like a, a Frog or something good they can play. I mean, Bowmaster is going to be like a really good block next turn. I can flash it in, kill Pride, block Ragavan. Assuming they have like, you know, Lightning Bolt or Discharge.
But being able to control the board with the Bowmaster and then have this Deluge still in my hand is going to be really good. Because I feel like you always kill like this initial wave of crap and then they just reload their board so easily. Chthonian Nightmare. That's actually kind of bad. I wish they did not have that. <laughs> All right, well, no follow up to that is good. Do I play Frog next turn, though? I think I probably could. Hmm. Prison on the Bowmaster, okay. What else? What else you got? Okay. Um. I think I'm just gonna brainstorm here. Just put back a swamp. Maybe a grave, too. I'm thinking that I'm going to Inquisition and play the Chandler. Or, sorry, play the Chandler and then Inquisition. Let's uh, maybe do this in the right order. So what's in my graveyard? Land in an instant. We'll discard Ragavan. They can static prison this again, I guess. Or just Bowmaster it, sure. All right, well, I guess next turn we're gonna be playing the Deluge. It's possible, too, I should have kept this polluted delta, drawn another land. Alright, so let's just deluge for one. Get rid of that crap. Frog will get Static Prisoned. Alright, they get Laris. I mean, that's something we can just Mana Drain. Okay, I was going to say, it's really going to hurt us now if we don't, if we didn't have that land. Because I, I would like to be able to play a spell and hold up the Mana Drain. If their turn is just go Luris, I'd be very happy about that. Yeah, we let this get drained. Or, excuse me, prisoned. All I care about is Delirus. Maybe I care about this, too. Um, But they don't have another creature right now. I think I just want to save it for Delirus. All right, they had a pride. All right, I was gonna say land there would be huge. Well, this time we'll be smart and keep the land. 
Um, but I want to draw all these cards. That's the thing. Just keep burning that energy. I mean, I guess that's why they played the Nightmare 2. It's just going to provide a lot of energy for them. All right, another land is what I like to see. Put our Luris in our hand. We'll go ahead and play Frog. I mean, if I have to sack this and not get this Fatal Push, I think that's fine. Frog can take over the game here. Yeah, I think it's worth using Mana Drain now. And we can put another Mana Drain in our hand, or on top of the library. Island, Island, Island. I feel like this should uh, lock them out. Uh, I can't even play Luris because <laughs> I don't have double black. I think it's worth getting that mana drain though. Now I can. Uh, we're not gonna play it yet. I wanna hold up mana drain again. And we're about to get this stuff back too. Okay, they didn't wanna pay for that one. And they drew a land. All right, should be GG's. I would think this is GG's. You know what? We'll just discard the Steam Vents. All right. GG's. Hmm. Turn one, Tamio. I mean, this is a risky hand, but we got the Brainstorm. I just can't resist this turn one Tamio. God, they're play they're probably playing show and tell. I mean I get a turn one Tamio and then flip it with brainstorm my next turn. So sounds fun enough to keep. Alright, turn one Tamio. All right, we drew a land and a fetch, which is really nice. Um, so I think I like using Brainstorm. That's another land. Probably put back a Treasure Cruise and a Fatal Push. And then we'll go ahead and Inquisition here. Take a look-see. Okay, they're playing a gen deck. Not what is I, I was expecting. Um, I don't think I care about this Daneful Stroke at all. The only thing it hits is Treasure Cruise. I guess Jen is annoying. I mean, I could have taken the spell too, I guess, but looks like they're not going to have anything to do for a while unless they drew something. Slide of hand. Okay, that's probably a good draw for them. They want to make this as cheap as possible. I think we just inquisition them again. A good story can refresh the mind. I'll take a negate. So I don't really think they can do anything. I don't think I care about this. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and play a frog here. I 
feel like I don't really need to hold up a, a mana drain this turn, but maybe the following turns um, when they're going to be able to play this for really cheap. And they can definitely get like a, you know, a counter spell here. Play this, like it, and hold up a counter spell, be pretty good. There's a bobble. Respect the library. Okay, spell stutter. So they do have a counter spell coming. I guess I could use Sink and just Stupor on it. Let's just attack with Frog, see what we get. Um, do I want another Frog? Maybe not. Let what is this? Ward 2? One, two, three, four, five, six. So it essentially cost one. I'm just going to play my nether wave because that's a five, six. We're going to mana drain even though I know they can just counter it. I want them to use it up, though. Like, I don't really have a great answer for this thing. There's then a good block with another goy. Don't want that. I don't know if I want the sink either. What can I get with Mystic Sanctuary? Get Mana Drain back. Yeah, maybe that's fine because I can uh, I can draw it with the Bobble. All right, can I remove cards without making Nether Goyf small? We have two artifacts. I know I have another land. And I can do one instant. All right. I think we'll get Luris going next turn. Luris in a bobble every turn seems pretty good. That's worth a mana drain. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and brainstorm. Feel like we don't need a fatal push or this other delta. Um Can I get a sewers here? Ooh, that's a good one. I can also just get Mana Drain back in my hand, which I guess we'll do. I don't know how they beat that. Uh, 
Oh shit, do I have enough stuff in my graveyard? I have three lands now. Yeah, I can exile, um... That's all I'll land two lands in an instant, right? This disdainful stroke's not very helpful for you. Alright, here we go. Gonna draw a lot of cards next turn. <laughs> you got an island. All right, GG's. I'm uh, I think this is uh, GG's here. Especially when I'm about to rip a treasure cruise. I guess treasure cruise is gonna make all my nether goys really small though. So uh, I don't know if I actually want to do that. Um, I mean, I'd have to discard stuff if I want to make Frog Big to go over the, the Terror. Yeah, just discarded a Treasure Cruise. All right, so I can exile uh, instant sorcery, and I'm gonna have to do one more. All right, let's just get rid of uh, treasure cruise. Who needs to draw more cards? I don't want my goyf small. All right, all right. All that for just a concession? Could have done that before. All right, GG's. Hey guys, Siege Rhino here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bah.